Hey guys, welcome to another Lunch Review. Today I'm going to try one of these new Bertoli meals. This one is the Chicken Alfredo. It is grilled white meat chicken with cavatappi pasta in a creamy Alfredo sauce with breadcrumbs. You know the breadcrumbs, if you've ever seen any of these videos, the breadcrumbs, you literally mean nothing most of the time, but we'll see. Um, let's see, this is a 25 ounce one pound, nine ounce, 709 gram meal. We bought these at Meijer, it was $7.99, but it's not a, really a meal for one, truthfully. Um, turn you up here where you can see all this. So one serving, one cup, there's three servings in the meat in the package, is 370 calories. And there's your other info for you. So to make this, turn you back down. Um, you can do a conventional oven and it actually says that's the preferred method, but you can do it. It says do not do it in a toaster oven. So there's the oven directions. We don't do ovens on this channel. We only do microwaves or toaster occasionally. Uh, so a microwave, it says, and it says for best results, use a conventional oven. But if they give me microwave directions, on it, I'm assuming they got enough confidence in the instructions to uh, make it halfway decent. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to peel back the corner of filmed event, cook on high, 100% power for nine minutes. And then you cook on medium power, 50% power for six to nine minutes. So I will probably do, um, I'll probably do like seven and a half minutes, something like that, and uh, and then be done with it. So it doesn't say anything about stirring or anything like that between. So you just, just change the power level. Um, then it says make sure the food is cooked thoroughly before eating. So that's a pull tab. Didn't work, but it, there it is. Nope, still didn't work. Oh well. I tried it twice from, from both sides, but it didn't work. Oh, it's a heavy meal, I can tell you that much. There it is. Since there's not much in this corner, that's probably the part I'll vent. Um, actually, it's got a little thing here. I'll, I'll vent it right there. So I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. You can see some edges like right here where it was really thin, uh, where those breadcrumbs were, were at. They didn't have me stirring it, so there was no way for me to to mix that part in while it was cooking. So, um, so yeah, they just kind of got kind of got scorched a little bit. I guess is the best word for it. I'm just kind of mixing it up a little bit to see if what I see. I do see some hunks of chicken in there, pretty decent size. Yeah, I wish they'd had you stir it that first halfway through, like that first nine minutes, then you do uh, the seven and a half for me minutes um, on half power. I wish they'd had you stir it between. Maybe they don't want you to mix your breadcrumbs in. I don't know. It's not like they're going to be crunchy or anything. So I'm going to let this um, cool off for a minute, take it over the table. I'll be right back. All right. I gave it a little time to cool off. Not, not a ton of time. This pasta is the, what always kind of looks like a pigtail pasta. So it's like... It's like elbow macaroni, but it's like longer. So it's like a little corkscrew of, of like elbow, the tubes of pasta. It's kind of cool looking. So I got chicken pasta, breadcrumbs. The sauce is kind of spread everywhere. So I got some of that too. So here we go. Hmm. It's interesting in that bite. I actually got more of the chicken flavor then I did the uh, the alfredo sauce which is interesting because you would think the alfredo sauce would be really really strong flavor um for me that the chicken was the strongest flavor I really got a strong uh, chicken flavor I'm just gonna try pasta with any chicken it has like a it has like a garlicky kind of flavor it kind of smelled garlicky when it was cooking so there is some, definitely has some garlic in it. You can see the little curly pasta right there at the bottom, kind of hanging down. I like the chicken. The, um, you get quite a few pieces, but it's not like overloaded with chicken, but you get quite a few. You get pieces like that, and you got really big pieces like that as well. It's definitely the sauce that has that garlicky flavor. So when I first tried it, I thought it was the chicken I was tasting. I think it was that sauce with the garlic I was tasting. I thought it was seasoned chicken, but it's not. It's it's the it's the sauce that I'm getting. It's that. It's the Alfredo sauce for sure. Um, oh, the chicken does have a, a, a nice flavor. It's it's um, well well cooked. 
So texture wise, everything's really nice except for those breadcrumbs that got really like dry and hard. Uh, but th that's not all of that, it was just that one little area. Um, pasta's cooked nice, it's a nice texture. It has some uh, some give to it, but it's not mushy. So it's, it's cooked like perfect the way I like it. The chicken's good and tender, it's not dry, it's not chewy or anything like that. It's a really nice um, texture. The breadcrumbs, I mean, take it or leave it. You really can't tell if they're there. Unless I were to go for, okay, let me just see if I can pick it up. Let's not go for that bite that was next to the edge where the, dry, the breadcrumbs are really dried up and almost, almost cooked too much. Those breadcrumbs I can get the texture of, but the, um, for the most part, in the microwave, you do not get the texture of those breadcrumbs. Now, if you do it in the oven, you're gonna toast the top of it in the oven. So I can see where they would say that was the preferred method because the breadcrumbs may um, toast and actually be noticeable in here. For the microwave though, you're never gonna know they're even there. Like I said, unless you get the drier breadcrumbs around the edges, that's the only time you're gonna know they're there. Um, so texture-wise, I like it. Um, Flavor-wise, it is mostly like a garlicky cheese sauce. Um, it's not even a really a cheese sauce. It's just a garlicky white sauce. And it doesn't really taste like cheese necessarily. Which it, Alfredo sauce is generally some kind of cheese, but it's not a, it's not a strong cheesy flavor. It's not like it's macaroni and cheese or anything. Let me see what it says. Um, yeah, Parmesan, um, cream, um, white wine. That could be a little something that I'm tasting there too. Uh, butter, um, cheese starch, or cheese from, sorry, cheese from cow's milk is what it says. Romano cheese. It's really small, so I'm having a hard time. I'm going to squint at it. Salt, onion powder, garlic powder. And then you got your pasta. So maybe that white wine's coming through a little bit too. Maybe that's the extra flavor I'm getting. I'm not really getting the cheese flavor though. Overall, I like it. If you don't mind the um, kind of a garlicky white wine sauce kind of flavor. I think you'll like this. I, I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. I do think it'll be better in the oven, just like they said, it's preferred, um, because I think the texture of the breadcrumbs will be better, a little bit better, um, because again, they're kind of just mushy in here. You can't really, it's all mixed in with the sauce. So um, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. I do like it. I wish there was a little bit more flavor than just that garlicky flavor. I wish there was a little bit more coming through and there's just really not. Um, I wish the cheeses come through a little bit more too. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a four out of five though. I do like it. I think a family, two people could probably eat this really nicely. It says three, three is kind of pushing it. I don't maybe if you had a salad and some bread or something, you might be able to get three people out of this, but three is kind of pushing. I think it's more probably for two. Um, unless you had sides. So, um, so yeah, I think, I think that's fair. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.